Oh, uh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixabarters here, and welcome back to Apollo Justice Extreme. We left off. We're starting in court on this interesting, interesting case. We've got Mr. Brushel up there being him. Brushel. <laughs> and he's given us what we need, but now he's going to change that on and us. And this is the first case with the whole jury thing. Yes. We're watching. I think he just called a so called important detail. So called. A revival of recollection. End quote. A story survival. End quote. But. Attorney utterly confused. End quote. Actually, I did notice something <laughs> when I visited the studio. I heard that poison that takes a sweet time, see? But not what I've been saying for the last few minutes, apparently. Mr. Brusher, are you saying you noticed something that explains what happened? You bet I am. The antidote for a poisonous contradiction. End quote. You might say. Or I still have no idea what you're talking about, end quote, I might say. <laughs> I figured it out, but only after an in-depth interview. See, thanks to my journalism skills, I know who poisoned that coffee. Uh-huh, sure. Okay. <laughs> order, order, order. As far as I can tell, the witness is standing by his testimony. That Mr. Mishram died, of at, of the in, died the instant after he drank. Of course I'm standing by my testimony. And my dream of exclusive rest of this story. <laughs> I suppose it was too much to hope for. Well, it was. Of course, he wouldn't choose a simple case, not him. Him? Phoenix Wright, who else? <laughs> huh? Ah, the, yeah, Brushel. Report for us if you would. What is it that you noticed? Um. <laughs> this court is a, a critical trial of the jury system. I'm afraid no room for doubt is permissible. You testify to the court about what you noticed. Oh boy. When I arrived at the studio, Mr. Mission was at his desk. He seemed to be writing a letter, but he quickly sealed the envelope. I thought nothing of it at the time, of course. Now I think about it, what if he was writing a suicide note? He wasn't. Well, that gives so. Huh. Mm, a suicide Wait. note? But. It's addressed to him, though. I was about to say, so he wasn't writing it, he was looking at it, and then he resealed it. Yeah. Huh. Well, then. Interesting. Because, like, of course, no, of course he would think that he was writing it if he's the one that sealed it. Yeah. But he didn't. He just resealed it. Yeah. Why would he reseal it, though? That's the question now. Yes! He had this look on his face. Man's face insecure, in, 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 in inscrutable <laughs> as a quadratic equation, end quote. Suicide? Poor Mr. Misham. But that means Vera's innocent. Would someone commit suicide in the middle of an interview? Oh. You're right. Very well, <laughs> you may begin your cross-examination. Huh. What brush will notice? I mean, I don't want to, I don't think I would want to live through an interview with this guy. Anyway. So Mr. Misham <laughs> was at his desk. He's going to be writing a letter, but he quickly sealed the envelope. I well, just noticed about. he's been holding that toothbrush this whole time. Yeah. Yeah, it's concerning. Like, his face was distracting me from that fact. <laughs> yeah. So he put the letter away when he saw you? I think I gets worm, end quote. That's my secret. I'm not sure I follow. It's the night of the interview. I arrive 50 minutes ahead of schedule. The handle turns, the door opens, and I barge in. Are you sure that's okay to do? I mean, isn't that unlawful entry, really? Mr. Mishim should have seemed to think so. You should have seen him. He crammed his head in that yellow envelope as fast as he could. Yellow? Fast as he could. I know his secret when I spot one, and that was one. It does seem significant. Well, Mr. Justice. I wonder. It does have the ring of something important. Add to the testimony. Yeah. Fence finds the testimony vital, Your Honor. Very well. First add it to the testimony, then. Hey, why not? My account comes free of charge. Heard it was left at the crime scene. What? What? <laughs> what? And you saw him seal this yellow envelope with the letter. Hey, don't look at me like that. I saw what I saw. Apollo! I think this might be... Our big break, yeah. I need to show some decisive evidence now. Huh. So... I guess we're gonna show... The red envelope? Yeah. Huh. What are you doing? I don't know. 
I was just looking at the other stuff because it's still no, weird, I... but. Huh. Are you colorblind? <laughs> no, I was, I was just looking at the No, other I'm stuff. talking to him. Oh. <laughs> As it just so happens, there was a single letter in the desk drawer at the scene. And a red envelope. What? Oh. Oh my god, he just. That was a hell of an animation. Yeah. Press go to Gavin. Yes. <laughs> was a yellow envelope found at the scene of the crime? Unfortunately, no. But her forehead. It's easy to mistake the color of an envelope. But not so drastic. I guess. But not this envelope. You see, it was postmarked already. Seven years ago. Well, Mr. Bashur. I, I can explain that. Drew, right? He wanted to get that letter in an envelope. Pronto. Get out of sight out of my beady eyes, right? So I got the nearest envelope and crammed away. And what about the whole red and yellow envelope contradiction, chump? Well, Mr. Doctors, have you anything to say to the witness's claim? That night, the victim put a letter he needed. He had been writing in a red envelope. It's impossible, because he wasn't writing it. The keywords there are he yeah. had been writing. Yeah. That's impossible. I like your expression. So full of confidence. It's simple, really. As it just so happens, the defense team investigated the contents of this yep. envelope. With, uh, the assistance of a forensic scientist. <laughs> what? <laughs> Note that this letter is addressed to Drew Misham. Yeah. Oh? Why would he address the letter to himself? Exactly. Let alone send a suicide note to himself? Exactly. What? I've been scooped! Oh my god. And you scooped your brains out with your goddamn tie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> order! 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 Mr. Buzzer, can you explain this to the court? Oh, oh, oh. oh my, 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 how could I forget? <laughs> I suppose this happened to the best of us. Reporter gets old, forgets lots, and quote. Oh my god. I am still raging for an explanation, Mr. Buzzer. Well, that's the thing. See, Where have oh I heard God, this music this, before? This was in the other. This was in an old Phoenix Wright. What is? But who had this? Who had this music? I'm trying to remember who had this music often. Was it Larry? It it might have. No, Larry had a slightly different who, one. Who was this? That's oh. a wonderful. Did you catch it or? No, but I'm like. Ah. Oh. I can't remember who exactly had this. It probably was attached to a couple characters. Because oh. this happened in the goofy moments of the game. But, uh, well, that's the thing. See, after you put this letter in the envelope. Oh my god, I haven't heard this in so long. Mr. Mishima sat there searching for a search his desk drawer for something. His desk drawer? Yes, a stamp, a so called postage stamp, end quote. A stamp, bro, whatever for? What a male is that? What else? And then, why, well, yes, I think I saw him put it in his other box. Yes, it was the yellow envelope. And he put it in that box. Where have I heard? Oh, man. Where are the parents? Oh, he did it on his own. Oh, how I wish it did. What, what though? I I don't know. I, I didn't push the button on that one, so you can't get mad at me. No, I'm not. I'm just... <laughs> I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to do that. Just think if that were a suicide note. Oh, what a story. Star writes suicide note in front of reporter fa falls. Um, as I was saying, that has nothing to do with this case. That said... Yes, Your Honor? Makes me wonder about the contents of that red envelope. Well, uh... Yeah, about the deposit, all that money, and then... Sign the papers. Oh, sign the papers! And send in the enclosed envelope. One hundred thousand dollars is quite a good deal of money. So this was from seven years ago, yeah. <laughs> so am I finished? Yeah, I mean, am I finished here? I was thinking of, you know, going home to start writing. Like, he, he, he gets all shifty when his nose is all... Yeah. He, I think he noticed what it says on there and he's yeah. trying to get out. <laughs> um, I hate this state which should be pretty obvious to anyone. When you catch the scent of a story, you make that, uh, rather unique face. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Attorney has active imagination, little else, end quote. Wow. Even I noticed something, and my eyes aren't what they used to be. You know, I'm starting to understand what all this perceiving stuff is about. Judge has active imagination, end quote. Oh my god. Please continue with your testimony. Tell us about the scent of a story. 
Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here. Usually. His tongue is so bright pink. It's a little weird. It's very it's unnerving. the same color as his tie. Maybe and his, his tie cheeks. is his tongue. And his cheeks. Rosy ass cheeks and a they're, weird they're, ass they're neon, eraser mohawk. They're, it's hot pink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, actually, it took a bit of work to get the thumbs up on the interview. A part of your story gets his interview, end quote. The story concerned a certain case from seven years ago. That red envelope probably had something to do with it. Say what you will, but Drew's talent was without compare. Huh. Hmm. So you threatened to go to press with this story? That's how you got your interview, blackmail? Well, yes. I mean, no, 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 no. I wasn't exactly black. I mean, I'm not. Uh, Something wrong, Mr. Russell. The look. This is my story. My tidbit. Your info is livelihood. End quote. I see. Why you have me chatting away in here? What's going on out there? What if some wily words where, where Sally Scooper gets wind of my story? They could go into press while I'm going to waste. The court feels your pain, Mr. Russell. M Mr. Justice, let's pick up the face. A certain case seven years ago. Wait. Seven years ago? Eh? Oh, we know. We <laughs> know already, Apollo. <laughs> we know that there is something up. Right, something you afoot. Leverage your story. Exactly what sort of story was this? Oh, a little one, like I said. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing in between. End quote. I'm not just to lead on this particular story, but I didn't threaten or, can, or cajole or nothing, honest. Cajole? You mean cajole? <laughs> so a suggestion was enough to get an interview? This mission must have really wanted to keep it under wraps. Hmm. Huh. Story concerned a certain case seven years ago. Tell me about it. Tell me now. A certain case seven years ago? Tell us what case? <laughs> Let me say one thing, Mr. Attorney, and you can quote me on this. Okay. I can't talk about that case. What? But why not? That's about journalistic pride and staunchness and credibility and connections. Journalists reveal sources only over his dead body. End quote. Uh. So what'll it be? Gotta strangle me? Dead men don't tell tales, Mr. Attorney. Jesus. My God. He sounds pretty determined not to talk. Hmm. Our chances of breaking his will aren't looking good. Hmm. That has nothing to do with it. Probably. <laughs> On the one hand, we have your story. On the other hand, his letter. What makes you think the two are related? Oh, and I, I was just saying it's possible. Call it reporter's intuition, end quote. Hey, I saw a lot of things. You go and pick all of them part be my guest. <laughs> all of them? No, just incredibly suspicious ones. I see. Anything else to add about Mr. Mishum? Uh, without compare. That could be one to press. Mm. Just how amazing was Mr. Misham's talent? Huh? Whoo, boy, I mean, hey, he's a star, man, a star. The flow, the flow of his brush is like a great undulating river across the canvas. Honest paints light up studio like sun, end quote. Mm-hmm. This guy is full of wacky gestures. That one just now was wackier than usual. It looks kind of nervous to me, Apollo. Definitely. I'm sensing something different than, than before here. It was time to bring out you-know-what. That testimony left a bad taste in my mouth. It all makes sense. Nothing jumps out as ridiculous. I wonder what this story he's talking about is. It must have been good to get an interview with a famous recluse like that. Something powerful enough to draw Ma Drew Misham out of hiding. I wonder. Maybe it has something to do with Mr. Misham's art? Yes. Yes, it does. Let me get over here say what you will, but his talent was without compare. Oh, wait. Oh. What? The symbol. And the you bracelet. Mean, you're just now noticing that? <laughs> I didn't know it was up this on this. It's been thing, up for a bit. <laughs> so we're gonna take a Pikachu kind, sir. Pikachu? Oh god damn it. <laughs> Say what you will. But Drew Mission's talent. Huh. God, those teeth. I didn't see him change anything there. Look at his wrist, maybe? Like his fingers? 
You see, maybe they grip it a different way? It's not moving. Not moving at all. Huh. Huh. Here again. That's all going fine. So maybe this isn't Check the one mouth. I need to. That's all I was just looking at. He's just talking like normal. <laughs> Eyebrows? Well, I think they're the same as they were. Huh. You moved away from the mouth. And his eyebrows are... No, his mouth, was, his mouth has been doing the same thing for okay. each line. Why am I throat? I don't think there's anything going on in the throat. If it doesn't I just change, remember a Lamoir's thing. Uh, that's not it. Uh, pocket. Um, Why would the pocket move? I don't know. I don't think this is the line we have to go for then. Hmm. So I'll stop that for now. Huh. Hmm. Is that the one I want to press? The red envelope one? Maybe. Let's try and see if this does anything for us. That red envelope. Jesus, you're going all over the place. Probably had... He just looks excited. Yeah, he's just excited. Didn't see anything different on there. Mm. Eyebrows raised. Yeah, no. Maybe we don't have to use this yet. Hmm. No, maybe we don't have to use it yet. So. His face is terrifying up close, I'll say that. It absolutely is. So maybe we're using that too soon. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> they also made it clear that they want us to do something on this one. Say what you will, but there's ta uh, talents without compare. So perhaps the hidden painting that was found that he copied? Or the one with the sketch. I don't the know if that would be The rough sketch is still it. visible? Or the hidden painting? I would say the hidden painting. I'll go ahead and uh, give it the old without one, compare, two, huh? one, two, saveroo. One, two, saveroo. Okay. Nope, not that one. Well, clearly faulty, except it's not. So we're gonna mm -hmm. load that. Hello! Um, uh, let's try this one. The one that I. That's not it. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Well, Without uh, compare. Careful. I didn't see anything that was different on the way he was huh. acting with it. So that's what's throwing me off. See what you have juice talent was without compare. I don't have anything that really He's brushing his skull with it. Acrylic portrait landscape. Oh Jesus. He yeah. watched that, right? Yeah, he's like -da 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 -da. Huh. Cause they made sure to make the point that he felt weird after this. Yeah. It's not amazing Mr. Mishram's talent. Huh? Who we boy? I mean, hey, the, the flow is brush is the artist paint life studio. And he's like, this guy is full of wacky gestures, but that one just now is back than usual. He's kind of nervous. And he's definitely something different from before. And it's time to bring out you know what. This one's the bad day And now. then this is the repeat thing. So, break out you know what. The bracelet. I, there was nothing different that he was doing, though. That's what's throwing me off. See, she says bad taste in her mouth. Maybe that was a hint to look at his mouth. Maybe, but we were looking at his mouth, and he didn't do anything different. But, like, they're saying that he's... He was acting nervous on this. Wait a minute. What? Hang on. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's not there. Because, uh... He said he put it, the envelope was put in the mailbox, but it was empty, so I was like, maybe that had mm. something to do with it, but... I mean, I don't see anything that would contradict this about, without compare, aside from the paintings that we presented, but those weren't it, so... I think the you-know-what they're ta he's talking about is the bracelet. 
Let's try and see again if there's anything that we can spot on him. Ow wham, ow wham, <laughs> ow wham. Is he gonna start brushing his head? Just look at that, I think. Look at that, because I was trying to look to see if it was moving, but. Just uh, focus on it as much as you possibly it's, can. It's not that, because we're already on the last line and it hasn't changed anything. Weird. Here again. Does his hand move at all? Anything. His hand stays stationary. Hand stays stationary. Next one. Hand stays stationary. I have no idea. Here again. Just maybe focus on his mouth. I mean, he just does the same. I mean, we did this before. He just kind of does the same thing. Ow, wham, ow, wham, ow, wham, ow, wham, ow, wham. There's nothing that's standing out as moving Why would you look at the pen? Us. Maybe he's like flinching his ear so it changes or something. It's like we, look, we can look at his eyes from here. Nothing's changing. Wait, what about his nose? I didn't see his nose changing or anything. Because his so nose we'll wouldn't move time. a lot. Unless he does it on the talent thing. Stationary. Stationary. Uh -huh. Stationary. Stationary. Weird. I don't know, man. I am absolutely confused. But you know what? We're going to have the answer for you next time. Oh, <laughs> God. So uh, sorry. <laughs> it's, we're we're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. Jesus.